Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you why Ubuntu sucks as an operating system, not only in general, but also for the beginner users that this is aimed at directly. So, let's get into the video and why I am making this hit piece. Full screen please OBS, thank you. So, first things first. Ubuntu Pro. Why in God's green earth, or oh, sorry, Satan's red furry ass, would I want anything to do with Ubuntu Pro? But you, you see what I've done here? I've, I keep clicking it and nothing's happening. You know why? Because it's poor software implementation. This should ask the default browser to open up a link. I shouldn't have to right click open link. There we go. See how easy that was? I don't I don't know why Chrome is set up as my default browser. I didn't set that up. My default browser is Firefox. The reason why I have it set up for Chrome the reason why I have Chrome for because there's some things that I use that I'd much rather use with Chrome. Why why would I want to have a brand new pro when for a fact that I know that if I use a long term support edition, I'm gonna get five years of support anyway. Which is currently less support than Microsoft gives to Windows 10 because Windows 10 has been out for six years and is still being developed for even though Windows 11 is out. You, you can try and argue that one with me, but it is true. I look at trying to say you should pay us money for the luxury of us charging you an absolute fuck ton of money. See, you, yeah. She's like, oh, you're not receiving all of these. We're going to try and pressure you into uh, paying for our service that we can, that we don't need to push because we want to earn extra money. Meh, meh, meh. Ridiculous. Let's look into the settings of the system, shall we? First thing is first. Power mode. Would you like power saver or balanced power? This assumes I'm on battery power. I'm, I'm not on battery power. I, I'm on the standard. And my system will use as much power as it needs to. What's going on? The screen blanking was five minutes until I managed to lose the previous recording because again, Ubuntu doesn't like the fact that I was trying to record something. Also, another issue. When it comes to screen and display, I have had no end of troubles trying to get these to line up correctly and my monitors to line up correctly. It just doesn't like it. For example, my central monitor, uh, my 4x, uh, it's actually 4x3 monitor, not a 5x4. And why, why is it giving me those options? Because it's, it just doesn't like it. Printers, I actually have a printer registered with this operating system. Well, not registered, but set up through this operating system. But guess what? It ain't there. Why is it not there? I couldn't bloody tell you. Because it doesn't want to say device colors. Each device needs an updated. What? What is it trying to say? What needs to device color profiles? If it was color, it's color. What's the pro problem there? I, I don't. Removable media. Ask what to do. Yeah, you you plug something in. It generally does ask you what to do. Run software like. This is the most obvious stuff that's just not right. Bluetooth. No Bluetooth found. You know why there's no, no Bluetooth found? Is because I haven't put a Bluetooth in. So why are you even showing me the option of having Bluetooth? Why is this here? If we look at help, we can't... Oh. We look at about. Yeah, that's correct. All of this is correct, but... Guess what? This is not the most up-to-date long-term support. But I tell the system to update and upgrade. But you know what it doesn't do? It doesn't update, nor does it upgrade. This, for example. This is reported correctly by the, my graphics card, but not by the system. What? What? It just doesn't make sense. 
Like, for example, here, set date and time. That date's correct, so why is it giving me the option to change the time zone? It does understand how ridiculous that is, right? Like, it's it's insane. Why why do I want the why do I want Ubuntu software? I'm not going to be using it. I'll use it when I need to, so I'll search for it. Oh look, hey look, multitasking, hot corner. You know what this is trying to do? It's trying to look like Mac OS, because Mac OS does the exact same thing. If I do this, what does this remind you of? If you've used Fedora before, it will remind you of Fedora. Fedora and Ubuntu just copy themselves and copy each other. It's just insane. I have dark themes set in my other environment, but guess what? This doesn't see it. Why? I can't tell you. It just doesn't carry me carry these settings across. It's just ridiculous. The network settings. Oh, look, it's just what I want. All more information than having to go step by step by step. Just uh, all of this is set correctly, but it's just a bloody nightmare. These icons here, all all of these icons here, all of these should be on the left hand side because that's why I haven't put in cinnamon. So it should remember that they're all on the left hand side on my left hand mouse monitor, but they're not. But you also see this it's not seeing that they're installed when they are installed and they do work like this war of mine works it's a windows only game but guess what it runs through steam and broton well because it not and the reason why i run it is because i know it works fine i don't have an email client installed it doesn't remember my saved bits of software so if I try and say, hey, look, I want shortcut, not shortcut. Um, oh, where is it now? Where is it? See, trying to find software is absolute pain in the ass because you know what? It's not alphabetically organized. It's horrendous. I don't even have Kerbal Space Program 2 installed, so I don't know where it's getting that one from. Like, just, it's all a pain in the rear end. I have two different bits of software, uh, screenshots utility installed. Because I've got two, because I've got two separate um, desktop environments installed. Why can't I just disable one of them? Like it's just insane. Newsflash, there we go. Like this. Why is this not saved on my left hand side? If you've watched a previous video of mine that says, "Hey, look, this is what I use and running this running this YouTube channel on Linux," you will know that I have this saved. That I run with this on a daily basis. Because that's how I know why 8.9 came out recently. So I've got to get looking into that. But it's just... The continued lack of... Incompatibility with one another. The absolute pain in the ass. It just doesn't work. Gnome 42. So if I try and find out what version of Gnome we are, we're on. What is... Is the current version of no nine forty four? Do you, do you do you see the issue? Do you see the issue we've got? This was released back in March, and we're not even on. This isn't even on gnome forty three, let alone forty four. This is on gnome forty two. It's just horrendously bad. Ubuntu is here as a cash grab and a way to try and pressure people into paying for something that they do not want. And it is bad. I have tried applying for jobs at Canonical. But you know what? They won't allow it. Because unless you have been a member of their ecosystem and do a lot, do some community stuff with work on the community side in your free time then I'm interested I, I I can't what company what company in their right mind says you have to work in out you have to provide free service to our community members whilst also being a community community member to be considered for a job do, do you understand 
do you understand the issue there? It doesn't make sense. It's horrendous. I, I know I've been rambling for 10 minutes. I could keep going and going and going. But I won't subject you to any more torture. Except for this one little bit here. You see this? See this bar right here? It ain't right. It don't look right. It's not right. Anyway. I will leave you with the torture. I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit, uh, hit the dislike button. If you maybe consider subscribing. Anyway. Run over. It's horrendous, I know. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And goodbye.